Hello friend, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nerds video series on Array Interview Question Series and this is question number 6. So, this question is, find whether one array is subset of another array. So, if we are having two arrays like this and if we see, is this array available in this array? Meaning, this is subset of this one. Then yes, see we have 11 here, 11 here, meaning this one is there inside this, 7 is also present here and 3 is also present here. So this array number 2 is actually a subset of array number 1. This is what we have to check. So what are the different ways we can, a simple example would be this you can keep in an outer for loop and this array you can keep in an inner for loop and for this element, you have to search this element inside this element and if it is present, you, you search this element inside this array. If it is present, you search this guy. So basically, we are going for m cross n where m is the length of this array and n is the length of this array. But this is not a good solution because this is like m or n square solution. Okay, this is not a very good solution. I'm mapping this with n square because we understand that okay if something is like n square then it's not good we have to optimize it otherwise it is exactly m cross n because m can be very small maybe 5 and n can be a very different number so it's not exactly n square but yeah both are variable m and n and it is possible that they are equal so the complexity can go to n square and we can see that this is not a good solution let's see another solution so another solution is let's put all these into a hash map and say that okay 11 count 1 1 count 1 13 count 1 likewise we'll keep this bigger array into a hash map and we can say that whenever we will iterate over this we have to check this 11 does this 11 exist here okay fine if it exists fine one exists fine so like this you will search this array into a hash map now we don't have to loop over array so this was array so you was actually checking one by one now you are going with then hash map so this is little faster but we can do better than this so we have seen sets right like std set if you use this data structure i mean if interviewer allows you to use this or if it is programming competition no one is stopping you to use this and you fill this set with this array and fill another set with this array and ask whether this array is subset of this array there are member functions for this set class okay you can check if this array number two is subset of array one it will result true or false okay so it will do the calculation by itself but still that is also not very good solution so the best solution is what we can think of like a frequency array I like like a doctor okay so don't feel bad there <laughs> what do I mean by frequency array F A so basically we have array of 1 I plus plus like this so if we will do this then frequency array at position 11 let's suppose this is I is 1 right so sorry 0 right so 11 so frequency array of 11 plus plus so your frequency array let's suppose with 20 size is filled with all zeros okay now with this loop looping over array 1 and you've just filled that with the frequency like how many counts are there and yeah all those set and hash map are good solution they all have one problem common which is like if you have 142 and 1442 if this is your array number 1 this is your array number 2 is this subset of this one we have duplicates then this guy is not subset of this one you cannot treat this as similar to this one because it has duplicates okay so now this frequency array would actually solve this problem whereas this set and all would have given you true that yeah this is actually a subset of this one so we have a good point here to use this okay so we have actually filled this frequency count with this array one and then you can loop over this array two and check if that frequency count is non-zero and if you find it you have to decrement that so that next time okay let's do that for this one so frequency count f a for first index sorry is one 
for fourth index it is one and for second index it is one okay now you are looping over this array two and just checking this frequency index so first you will check this index right so this index is having one value and then you will decrement it so you will make it zero now you will go for this one fourth index fourth index is having one so good but i'll decrement it so i'll make it zero now you'll go and search for four four is there but its value is zero meaning either this four is not present or before it was there but i decremented meaning this is not the subset of this one so we'll just return false from here and we know that it is false in case if we had four here then we would have had two here and because of this we would have incremented by one i mean decremented by one because of this this would have gone to zero and then we would have gone to two this would have become zero and this whole loop would have completed and we did not hit any zero case so we are good this is actually subset of this one and this one is having a very good complexity order of m plus n see you have to go for m times i mean if this is m to just increment this frequency array for all the index okay so all these values are like index for frequency array okay don't get confused for that so we'll go for m times just to increment all these and then we'll go for n times just to verify that okay those frequency arrays are cool here okay so this looks pretty good so from n square to m plus n which is still order of n then it is a really good complexity so thanks for watching guys bye bye take care i'll see you in the next videos